Hey, Paul, how you doing? Good, how are you? I am doing amazingly, thank you. Awesome. Now, the first question on everybody's mind is, how does winter affect Spartacus and his rebellion? And more importantly, what did it mean for you guys and your cast and crew who is known for not wearing very much? <laughs> well, the good news is, for us, that it's all indoors. So we were more worried about getting vitamin D deficiency than really freezing to death. Then again, giant fans blowing even pretend snow at you when really you're not wearing any clothes. It's still pretty chilly. But um, for the actual rebellion, it, uh, it changes a lot of things. I mean, there's, there's a lot in history about it, and it's, uh, it's grueling. And certainly on set, it was quite grueling. And, and working with snow is a surprisingly difficult thing, and it's quite hard. There were a lot of like crystals being blown in eyes and things like that where people would just suddenly stop in the middle of the text going, ow, 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 very unheroically. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, for, for, for the journey, it makes the rebellion all that much harder. And, and for the actors, it was a whole new challenge, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> I was going to use the word fun. It wasn't fun. It was really hard. Well, what are they using for the snow that it's hurting people a oh, lot? No, it, everything. It's just, I mean, it's, it's what they use on everything. But, so I, I, you know, I imagine in, in Gladiator and things like that, there was probably people going, ow, 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 in the same way. <laughs> um, so like they use this kind of dusted fake snow that they stick to things, and they use these little floaty bits of snow that go through the air and they coat everything in like salt like epsom salt so you could take a bag of it home and have a bath afterwards after your hard day it was great actually that sounds like it worked out perfectly if you could silver lighting it. right everything well i want to know if you talk about you know the history behind the actual story of spartacus and the timeline here is a little bit truncated because this is the final season how are you guys working with that timeline to get everything wrapped up in the final episode? Well, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not, it's not too bad, really. I mean, the, the war went for about two years altogether, so I guess we've got a cool four years out of it, really. So it's, it's you know, we've done all right. And, and f well, at the start of the season, we were all pretty bummed in the sense that, you know, we're excited to get back to work, but we were all thinking, oh, really? You're going to end it? It's going so well. And, we, I mean, I was getting really excited, and I, I love this character. He's such a cool dude. I mean... Wow, what a character to be able to play. But as you went on through the war, uh, we sort of went, where would you go? I mean, it just gets so big. And it, it's kind of nice because in a weird way, it sort of cuts out the boring bits. It's like uh, sort of, you know, edits the commercials in a way. You know, it's like um, you take a war where it's it could potentially be, you know, run up to some Romans, fight them, kill them, run away, run up to some Romans, fight them, kill them, run away, and just gets all the meat of those stories and the character journeys and just uh, one after the other just presents them to the audience. So it's, it, it, there's never a breath, there's never a dull moment in this last season because it takes all that war and crams it into one little area. And it, it's, it's pretty cool, you know. I mean, they, they've really done a good job with it. And I think what's cool about the show is that you guys have such well-written scripts and such well-written stories. Absolutely. Mind um, celebrating the fact that there's so much gore and nudity and violence in the show as well, because it's certainly earned. So we get to hear about how great it is instead of God, look at that horrible <laughs> show. And so on on that question, how gory and how violent and how sexy is this? last season going to be i have to imagine you guys are going to go all out yeah well i think if they had a couple of jugs of blood left they probably threw them in there anyway so there's uh there's a lot going on but it's kind of it's cool i mean it's 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 a war it's massive it, i mean it, it still blows my mind that i'm working on a tv show because from the get-go it's like thirty thousand people versus thirty thousand people you just don't see that on television it's cool so, I mean, and, and they still have, they, they somehow find a way to fit the sexy times in, but um, it's kind of nice in the way that everything in this season is driving it forward. Every relationship, uh, or f every physical or otherwise relationship, just pushes that character that little harder or makes the journey a little bit more difficult in some way for each character. And, and all the violence, I mean, the, the, it's, it certainly escalates because now they're fighting for their very lives, but not just a couple of people, but an entire following. I, I mean, I get to be a commander this, this year, and that's a daunting but fantastic job. Well, can you, have you already shot the finale, and can you tell me if you have what we can expect? Just, I know you can't really say anything no, about no. it. Well, I mean, you can, go to, you can go to Wikipedia and get a sort of a, a cliff note sort of overview of it uh, if you want to do Wait, a spoiler thing. 
from the real history of it. Well, you I mean? could you could do the real history. I mean, we we mix it up a little bit, but if you want if you want to spoil it, you could probably go in there and be like, oh, so that's what happens. Uh, it's you know, it's <laughs> it's not a secret. Damn history, damn history, and it's it's constraints. But um, yeah, we have finished the last uh, last episode. In fact, I got to watch a rough cut of it a couple of days ago, and wow, it's it's emotional. I'll give you that. I I, I had to do some commentary on it, and I, I couldn't really get through it because I, was, <laughs> you know, all those emotions of what happens in his story, what happens in all of their stories, and plus the fact that this incredible journey for for me and and so many others is coming to an end was 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 pretty heavy. But they. That's what I mean. When we were when we were starting out, we sort of went, "Oh, are you really finishing it this year?" But by the end, you go, "No TV show gets to finish on its own terms. Usually, it's like you know, it's time to go." But this time, it was a really satisfying episode. I I really wanted to see more, and that was kind of a good feeling by the end. What well, what I've noticed, you talk about it being a television show, and you not really seeing that as a television show, I have to say they've shown it here on, you know, the big screen, like in the theater, and, and wow. it's like a movie, and I've seen it at home on big screen, so really, I would imagine you guys really don't cut any corners, because you have to know it's being shown that way in some venues. I know, well, I, I was, I remember I got to go to the premiere of, of Vengeance last year, and, and went, what do you mean they're showing it on a, on a movie cinema screen? That's, oh, I don't know if that's going to work out, surely it won't look as good on a cinema screen, but Gosh darn it, it does. It, it really holds up on, on that scale as well. I, I don't know how good those effects guys are, but they must be incredible because they can bring all of that action that's all shot in green screen and, and realize it on such a huge scale. And it's really satisfying to watch on a huge screen. I, I was blown away by what they achieved. And I mean, we're just, we're just actors. We just sort of turn up every day and swing a sword. But they, they put that together in, in a way that it just looks amazing. Like, uh, we got our, we've got our premiere uh, today, actually. For, for over over here in Hollywood, and and I'll get to see episode one of this put up on the big screen, and that's going to be I'm really excited. It's going to be incredible, especially now that it's a massive war. I can't wait to see what they've done with it. <laughs> well, and aside from the snow, I'll ask one last question before my time runs out. Sure. Aside from the snow, what was the most dangerous moment on set for you this season? Because I know you guys have a little bit of accidents swinging those swords around and stuff. Uh, you know, they, they, I mean, the stunt team's really good at keeping us safe, but it's, it's a pretty dangerous enterprise in some ways. So, I mean, I remember being on top of, a, of like a two-story building for all intents and purposes where they're like, yeah, just jump off there, you'll be fine. I'm like, <laughs> uh, really? But um, no, I, I, I actually did really, really well until the very last episode, and it wasn't even a stunt. This horse comes up to, because, I don't know, I've got a little, like, Spartacus, they're doing this, uh, like a little bit of a report coming to me, and he's like, like Pele, he decided to kick this stone, and every other time of the show I've been hit or whatever, it's it's just been, oh, if that was an inch to the left, that would have been horrible. This was that inch to the left, it hit me right in the eyeball, I could see it, like, slowly coming towards me, and it took a huge chunk out of my cornea, and um, everyone on the monitor thought that I'd just gone down because the, ho the horse had sneezed on me, but no, it, it was... It was fun times. There was one doctor that said, you'll probably get your eyesight back. And it was that stage where I went, you know what? I might go home today. I might, I might actually sit this one out today. But um, everything healed up really well, which is great. But um, yeah, it, you, you do most of the stuff for real. So occasionally it gets a little fun. But, um, but you know, it, it ends up translating to the screen because you're actually in there doing it, which is kind of cool. Do we see that scene? Yeah, I think you do. I think, you know, um, if I've got a slightly red left eye at any stage in the last episode, you'll know why. <laughs> oh, well, I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's not funny, but it's... It looked hilarious. I saw the footage, like, because I slowly go down, because, I don't know, some reason getting hit in the eye makes me go into slow motion. Maybe that's how they do their 600 frames a second slow motion for Spartacus footage. But, um, yeah, I slowly go down, and it really looks like this horse has just sneezed on me. And I'm like, medic... It was like being Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> and you got your, your eyesight's back and everything's good, though, right? Who said that? No, yeah, it's, um, it, it seems to be. So, so far, so good, right? No bionic okay. eyes for me yet. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming on and chatting with me about the show. We're super excited to see it. So. I, man, rock and roll. It's so good to be on. Okay, well, I will talk to you later. Have <laughs> a good day. Thanks, brother.